Shmalo and shma welcome everyone. Uh, let me adjust my headset. <laughs> my headset and uh, headphones, I guess. So here's Kakariko Village. You can't just enter right here, but if you step over here, it'll activate a little. Yeah, talk to her. Traveler, I'm sorry. I have to. I seem to have twists in my ankle. Huh. Let's see here. And she's gonna notice the Sheikah slate. I'm sorry you had to see me like this. Say, Traveler, what's that around your waist? Well, you see, and it's assumed that you're explaining that you woke up and all that stuff. She's gonna be, ah, yes, I see, the Sheikah slate. Yeah, it means you're the hero of the legend. Uh-huh, there's few who know such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a long time. Yeah, so basically, uh, she's gonna show you where to go. It's the main building. It's the largest one next to the water, like in front of the waterfalls. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. so it must be pleasant. So, quick tip. Uh, as you can see, we have two more slots because we talked to Hestu. And, well, you know how the Traveler Sword, I haven't used it. Traveler Sword is actually really useful considering um, it's a steel weapon. Every time there's a blood moon and the game, you know, reboots the world. <laughs> You can get a traveler sword right here. There we go. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about dinging it on rocks or anything. Because I, I, when I first played, I was I was worried because you just saw the sparks fly. Yeah, I thought like, oh wait, is that going to like lower its strength or something? But no, it it it's just uh it's just the fact that those sparks can be used to ignite things. So if you head down here. I was pretty sure there was something right here. No? Okay. By the way, you can use the magnet. No, you need you need to use the magnet because there's a it's it's too deep there. Oh, right here, under this little bridge, you can always find an apple. <laughs> I just kinda like that detail. Ah uh, yes, this is the first time we encountered we we can encounter chickens. Oh, is that a lantern? Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, so let me sneak first and... Yes. So this is also for a side quest. You're gonna need co to collect, I believe, like 10 or maybe 5. Um, I don't remember exactly how many she wants, but someone in Kakariko Village will actually ask you to, like, oh, I, I haven't seen a uh, lantern, you know, the, the fireflies for a long, long time. Uh, this is a hoe, I believe. Yeah, we might as well collect it. It's another sideways weapon. Alright, so... Uh... If you hit this... Don't hit it too many times because... Yeah, there. There we go. Bird egg. I recommend only hitting it twice. If, if you hit a chicken twice... And it does not give you an egg, just let it go. Because if you hit it too many times... Uh, this is the thing. I'm not sure if it's based on the amount of times or if it's based on the uh the amount of damage you know i'm uh since i'm not sure about that i guess the best tip i could give you is just uh um is uh just just give it two hits with with whatever you have i i don't i guess it's not actually damage based because now that i think about it i have hit them with the master sword and they seem to be okay yeah, so I guess it's just the amount of times you hit them. There's another beetle here. I missed the grasshoppers because I noticed them too late. Sometimes there are multiple beetles on a tree. Oh, well, let me show that off first. Wait, is there's a chicken guy. Yeah, you see this guy takes care of chickens? One of the side quests you have to do here is actually... Um, huh. Is actually recovering all his chickens. Hmm. There's a iron shroom. Is it good? Right here. You know, this is if you want to boost your defense. There's another chicken and a campfire to advance time. Oh, they're kind of wary of you because you're a newcomer. So if you approach, it'll just be automatic. You there. Who are you? How dare you trespass? Hmm? Is, is that the Sheikah Slate? That means you're... It's not possible. Can it be? Yeah, so they've been really waiting for you for these hundred years. Yeah. Yeah, we heard the legends uh, from Lady Impa herself. Go go ahead inside. 
So before we do that, you see this. This is another Korok puzzle. Uh, hold one apple, and you see the little arrow. Yeah, put it inside the bowl. Yeah. -ha -ha. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> so just just remember there's 900 of these things so just be ready for me to say each time yeah so before you go here you can just jump down crouch to go underneath this beam and there are literally mounds of stamella mushrooms and also a truffle I believe but where is the truffle I I'm pretty sure you can actually get a truffle here let me actually look for it. Okay, Stamella Mushroom. Huh. Maybe the truffle isn't available yet? Because, okay, even if I am, even if I am wrong about uh, truffle, there should be something else. Perhaps maybe it, it doesn't load yet. I don't know. Oh, there's a shrine up there. It's literally just on a hill that there's a path to it. Oh, uh, uh, yes, the best waifu of the game. A man. Yes, her name is Paya. What is that? It's a Sheikah slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lin. Lin. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad at speaking. My name is Pa Pa Pai. My name is Paya. Who? I got it out. I should be able to say it easily. I uh, seeing how it's my own name and all. I'm sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting for your turn ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. Ta da da. Yes. So you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but. You remember me, don't you? Oh. Sorry, I just like to give... There's not that, that many scenes with dialogue. Mostly just like flashbacks and stuff like that. So I, I kind of like to give it importance. <laughs> What's the matter? You look at... You look... As you're looking at me like I'm a stranger. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One. Do you surely remember the name Impa? Uh, ma'am, I, I, I'm uh, Uber Eats. <laughs> I, just, I, I was told this is apartment B. Uh, in fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A uh, hundred years ago, yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom was destroyed. You fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to put you into the sacred slumber. Then, alone, she went to go face Ganon. Before she met her fate, she entrusted me some words she wishes to say to you. Uh -huh, I've been waiting a hundred years. However, these words, which the princess risked her life uh, to leave you, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear without your memories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically... Yeah, so we're gonna have to say yes. So just talk to her, saying that, yeah, I'm fine with that. The words I cannot... Ca I cannot pass them to one who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life? Just say, I am. Huh. Not a memory to your name, yet... <laughs> yet you intend... As ever, to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. Yeah, you have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. By the way, in case you're wondering the, why they keep calling, referring to Link as the courageous one, it's all a motif. The hero of legend is always the one who has the triforce of courage. More on that in a bit. <laughs> uh, once you, since you lost your memory, I will recount what has happened. I believe it's uh the history of oh, the let me hold on is also the history of calamity ganon 
a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. And that's what happened. And that kid is how I met your mother. Which is a show I have not watched and I know one of my friends wants me to. <laughs> hundred years ago in preparation you know, for the revival of Ganon um, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of a thousand years ten thousand years prior but in the end despite our best efforts and careful planning we underestimated his power yeah, in order to avoid ever making the grave mistake again the princess left you with these words free the four divine beasts that's what she said and you can ask and she'll explain. They're ancient weapons uh, wielded by champions. Yeah, it's Varut, Varudanya uh, of Daruk. So Rudanya is an anagram for Darunya, which is a character from the Legend of Zelda of the race of the Goron. So basically just a reference. <laughs> um, Divine Beast uh, Va Meadow, uh, I believe this is a reference. Uh, yeah, it was. it's a reference to Medli. So it's not exact, but it's like a loose reference to Medley, which is one of the, which is a character from the past. Uh, Divine Beast Va Ruta. R uh, Ruto was uh, one of the princess uh, uh, from another game, so reference. And Va Naboris, and uh, I believe Nabura was uh, one of the sages in another game. So it's all references. Mm -hmm. Oh, and references uh, specific to the race of of the of the pilot of the beast. Yeah, it's extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast. Uh -huh. You must infiltrate the divine beast and bring them back to your side. Yeah, 
They can be found by locating the four races scattered around. Oh, wait. These markers are not where the robots are. I'm going to call them robots because they're essentially robots. Um, these are where you can... Um, well, what's the way to phrase it? Like These are the actually the towns where the civilizations are. So it's what's it called? Gerudo Town, uh, Rito Village, uh, the, the Zora Tribe, and Goron City. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be your new mission for now. Yeah, the device Princess Zelda let you... Uh, le left as your guide is also your memory. Yeah, so basically... Hateno Village. Oh, that's actually nice. That's actually where I was trying to go. Oh, that's where I left the mark. Let me actually see if... Uh, I saw... This is technically going to be part of the thing... Remember how I mentioned in a, like two episodes ago, I believe, um, that the reason I don't want to explore willy-nilly is because there are certain places that have uh, that that won't be available. That we, this is what I was talking about. We cannot re we cannot recover the memories until we talk to Impa. So I'd rather do you know I'd rather talk to Impa first so that all the all the memory spots uh, activate. Yeah, seek out Impa complete. Yeah, this is a picture that'll be important later. If you go up here above her, this is Paya's room. And guess what this is? Paya's diary. It seems she only started writing in it. Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura a hundred years ago. They decided to put a lone swordsman in a long sleep and as to prepare for the time that was foretold in legend. That's the name of that swordsman is Link. Since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear all this time. I too pray he awakens soon for Hyrule's and Grandmother's sake. Yeah, so as as you do more stuff, <laughs> I, I, I feel like as you do the side quest in this place, uh, you get more journal entries. So... There, there's something in this game. Oh, if you read this journal, it's various woes. I'm not going to read it, but it explains all the side quests. So, like, it tells you exactly what what the people want in this place. So, it explains someone who hates the fact that her husband keeps paying so much attention to his chickens. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. Let me actually... Oh, wait, the fire is out because of the rain. Hmm. I'm actually wondering what to do. Uh, maybe I'll do the shrine. Oh yeah, I'll do the shrine. Uh, first I want to show off this. This is an energetic rhino beetle. And these gold ones actually provide a lot of stamina. Yeah, b like healing. So just sneak up the way I did because it's worth it. I believe there are three bi uh, beetles on this one. No, just two? Okay. Uh, also, if you need arrows, you can't pluck the ones that are... Oh, wait. Is there another beetle right here? Huh. I, I feel like in this no, this one up next. I feel like there's a beetle somewhere here. Let me actually check. Huh. I feel like maybe in the next episode before we leave Kakariko, I'm going to try showing off how to make potions and stuff. Because, uh, yeah, it'll probably be useful. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, something I should show off, too. This is kind of like a little tour, I, guess, I suppose, of Kakariko. Here's a, a really good bow and arrow. I believe it's called Fenric. Oh, we have a space. Oh, no, just a wooden bow. Fenric bow is completely different, but it's a pretty decent one. Also, if you break this stuff, sometimes you'll find rupees, sometimes you'll find arrows. You know, it's weird like that. Uh, this shop... Yeah, you can buy eggs, uh, butter for 12, uh, but cobbling guts. So if you if you do not like hunting monsters, you can you can find monster parts in here. I believe she only sells three at a time. So every blood moon, you could come back buy three, uh, and then she buys. By the way, this is the thing. You see, you see how like there's five eggs here. Look, 
she actually only has five. I really love that about that game. Like, like you know, some games they just put like a they put one stick of butter and you like you can buy ninety nine and stuff. Like no, this one you it literally only have five. <laughs> I just I just like the attention to detail. So this place I believe is for arrows maybe. Yes, you can buy wooden arrows. Like, well, you know, not wooden, just regular arrows. And you can buy fire arrows. So, like, for example, this is 1 for 20, and this is 5 for 80. So, obviously, the 5 one is a better bargain. You know, it just, it just you know, I'll always buy the bundles. It, uh, if you buy the singles, it's because you have a ton of cash, and you just want to stockpile faster. I don't remember the last time we had a customer. Most people in the village don't know how to use a bow. Yeah, I want to sell. Uh -huh. Yeah, just talk to her. Talk to her again. Yeah, I know. I knew it the moment I saw you. Yeah, one heck of an archer. Yeah, how about you take out that bow and show me something special? You got it. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, you got it, just say. And arrows of burning heat. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> So basically she wants us, you can't do it in the rain unfortunately, uh, in five minutes it's going to end, but I recommend having the the fire here. Oh, you know what? Uh, we can actually do it. Like I, I always believe in that phrase, killing two birds with one stone. Wait, why is it? Oh, my shield is damaged. Okay, um, take out the flint. Oh man, I only have one. Okay, we'll do the side quest later. Because all I need is to respawn that. Now we'll continue this little mini tour. I guess uh, it's just I, I really dislike that. Um, oh, there's eggs here. This is nice. If you don't want to kill, if you don't want to hurt the chickens, you can just collect some eggs here from time to time. Two of them. Uh, so you could take the path. It's literally behind this house. Like, like two houses away. Or you could climb up here. And yes, the chicken crew uh, uh, actually makes noises when the sun comes up. I really enjoy that. Um, yeah, so let's just go up and uh, uh, not do the shrine, just activate it. And uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next episode. Yeah, because there's still a lot of stuff we need to we need to discover. So I, I want to take my time here. All right, so um, yeah, I kind of want to cut it short. I'd rather do a lot more stuff next episode. It's just that yeah, I forgot cutscenes and stuff. There's still a lot to discover in this place. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Um, and well, that was a nice little mini tour. Uh, let's uh, let's finish up the tour next episode and carry on with the game, I suppose. So thanks for watching. And see you guys later. Schmillo. Oh, uh, we'll talk to that girl. <laughs> see you guys.